you guys have been knocking on doors for several months. Monica, we have mm -hmm. talked a little bit because um, we're in kind of the same kind of circle of, yes. of uh, people. We're friends. I we're like friends. Yeah. And, but how is it as polarized as the national media talks about out it's there? Rough. It's, it's rough, uh, Pam. But I believe that it's not as polarized uh, as the media portrays it. Um, but when you know you give energy to something, it grows. So if that's all we're watching and that's all we're talking about and that's all we're listening to, of course it's going to appear that that's what people are doing. Uh, when I'm going to the homes, people are living their lives. They have their families, they have their children. Uh, many of the mothers have uh, children with special needs. That's what they're focusing on. They're focusing on what are you going to do for me right here, right now, the services that I need for my family, the services that I need um, Kent County to have, uh, what about my roads, what about my sidewalks, you know, um, are the seniors going to be okay, what about the veterans? So I would venture to say what I'm learning is that people want to know what are you going to do for them right here. While they see national, I think that part of them feels that they aren't part of national because they can't attain or they're not able to touch, you know, those individuals. But when I walk up to the door, and I'm currently a planning commissioner with the city of Kentwood, okay. and I announce who I am, they say, wow, somebody would come to my door and talk to me and listen. And that's what I do. I, okay. I'm there to listen, learn, and serve. So I think that the people right now, they want, they want accountability, they want transparency, and they want to be able to put their hands on the person that they are going to elect. They want people that they can trust. Now, um, I will say behind closed doors, when I talk to people, they are saying that you're being a female mm -hmm. and of African American, that you might be able, because you know you've been around, mm -hmm. maybe your sister, be able to speak in a way that some of them haven't been able to people that, you know, that are a different culture, white, That's I would say. fair to say. Pete. Say, okay, That's that we'll be able to say without being accused of something. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? It's I like, do. we disagree with this and it's nothing to do with. Yes. And you want, you probably get that. How are you feeling about that where people are like, you know what, maybe she can be able to speak some reason and say without being, you know, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? This is what you're thinking it's, and it's not true. If that makes any sense. Am oh, I saying that no, quickly? no, I understand. I okay. understand exactly what you're saying. Did you want to take that or do you want I, me? Well, you know that, Pam, to the point that you're speaking to, mm -hmm. I love being at the table. My sister always says, if you're not at the table, you're on the menu. Okay. Oh, that's very good. <laughs> and so, <laughs> where I got that from? I think Amorosa said that. Or something. Oh, gosh. So, uh -huh. I, what, what, what is really being said in that statement is we are all different, but we have a lot of shared values. Right. Mm -hmm. That's exactly and it. And sometimes I am in the room, Pam, and I am the only black female. Because a lot of times when you look at the Republican Party, many people believe that it's white male dominated. And, and that can be true, a true statement, depending on what area you're in. You're in West Michigan. But mm -hmm. when I'm in uh, Washington, D.C., I'm with thousands of black Republican, uh, black people, American mm -hmm. Republicans. Right, right. Um, when I am at the table and I am serving I get the opportunity to represent those individuals. Now, I don't represent all, but I try to put myself in their position because I've lived so through so much in my lifetime. And so what happens is I am able to say, you know what, listen guys, I'm not quite sure that that's what we really want to do. Is that really what our goal is? Well, blah, 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 blah. But have you considered it from this vantage point? Have you looked at it from this view? And they're like, well, what do you mean? And I explain it. And after that, sometimes the whole vote changes in favor of people because we're going to look out for the people that we come in contact with. And if you don't come in contact with uh, people who don't look like you, sometimes it's easy to overlook them. Now, I'm not making excuses for them, but let's be honest, how many people have friends that uh, don't look like them and that they hang out with and they know their issues Sometimes that's just not reality in the real world, especially if you're, you're in a world and there are only uh, white people in your world. 
but you know in the real world there's other people latinos and blacks and asian and bosnian you need to make sure that you look out for them too mm -hmm. but if no one's at the table to represent them then there's the issue and that's what you're coming up against when you're out there is people saying the same thing. It's like, you know, I'm not being represented. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, even at the county, does people even understand what a county commissioner does? I don't think they understand, but I can tell you what I have had. Um, yes, hi, I'm running for office or... <laughs>